Um, life in SP has been really fun and fulfilling as I get to meet many inspiring people along the way. Right now, I'm the current president of SP Students Union. Ladies and gentlemen, and here is the 50th SPSU president, Miss Christine Day, to do for a speech. Let's give her a big hand. Christine! <laughs> In January, we organized Bisu Golden Jubilee Dinner to celebrate our 50th anniversary. We invited many um, council members from the past 49 years as well as the presidents. It was really a proud moment for all of us, especially for me, get, as we get to know our Bisu history and its rich traditions. It was an experience that I will never forget. That in our career winner, Saif Singapore 2009, is once again Singapore politics. <laughs> I was the president for SP Student Entrepreneur Club and I was given an opportunity to take part in Students in Free Enterprise or SIFE National Competition. We competed with local universities and polytechnics and we emerged as national champions. My friends and I were given an opportunity to represent SP and Singapore in SIFE World Cup held in Germany. It was an enriching and fulfilling experience as I get to interact with students from all over the world and, when, and we competed with 40 other countries. And we are glad that we managed to place Singapore in one of the uh, top 15 countries with the best social innovation projects. I'm thankful for SP for giving me such a wonderful exposure. Thank you. Since year one, I have participated in a community service project called the Health Mapping Exercise, which is organised in collaboration with Singapore Heart Foundation. In this project, we conduct three door-to-door -door health screening for the elderly residents living in one and two room units. In year two and year three, I took on the leadership role as organising chairperson of, the, of this health mapping exercise. It was a unique and rewarding experience for me because not only was I able to interact with the residents, I was also able to inspire my juniors to take on the same leadership roles as I do. And on top of all this, the house visits taught me that the common language of people everywhere is often kindness and compassion. Overall, it was an awesome experience. During my second year in Singapore Polytechnic, I was selected and trained to take part in the Philippine Overseas Community Project. The main objective of this project is to do the house wiring project for the villagers who can't afford to install lighting in their houses. Besides that, we also went to the secondary school to teach the students how to use computer software such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint and Excel. I'm glad I took part in this community service project because I make new friends and learn new culture. In the future, I will do more community service work because I find it more rewarding to give than to take. Well, during my three years stay in SP, I have many memorable experiences. One of such is the Overseas Industrial Training Programme. For the program, I went to Makassar, Indonesia during my second year semester holidays. The program consists of a full park construction meant for the local villagers there. And also, we had a student action program where we interacted with the local students in the polytechnic. We had the opportunity to explore Makassar, where we visited the mountainous area, and also experiencing a two-night stay in the village. During the food park construction, I managed to implement the things I learned in SP, such as the different techniques of construction. Through this program, I've learned to be grateful of things and in life, and also, I want to thank SP for giving me this opportunity. For my internship, I had the pleasure of working with local composer Joe Eng as music arranger for Kevin Tong's new movie, Kidnapper. 
一个没有了孩子的父母，他不配有名字，因为他没有负起责任保护他自己儿子。我就是这个人。During my course of study at SP, I learned film scoring techniques that I was able to apply while working on the movie. My son, where are you? Although I had to work long hours and produce a large amount of music in just a short span of time, I had a lot of fun. Music production is definitely what I want to do as a career, and that's why I joined SP's Music and Audio Technology program. This is the symphonic band room, a place that brings back many happy memories for me and a place where we come together to make music together. I joined the band in year one and I played the trombone. Then in year two I was appointed the concert coordinator and I organized two concerts, I believe in music and musical delights. Organizing the two concerts was like an extension of my course because in DMC we study about events management. The process was a learning opportunity for me because it taught me to better appreciate how a concert is put together and the different elements that contribute to making an event successful. I've been in the SP Dragon Boat team since I was in year one and one of our proudest moments was winning the plate championship during the Sava International Sprints race in 2009. It was a tough race because we had uh, rowers from other countries like the Philippines, uh, Japan and Malaysia. Um, but we put on a good fight and um, emerged as the top polytechnic for Dragon Boat during the race. In addition, we also secured uh, second place uh, for both the Opens category and the Tertiary category for men's in 2008 and that was actually our highlight for the whole 2008. Despite having a small incident where a bump boat actually collided with our dragon boat and injuring some of our rowers, uh, we pushed on and we secured the second place. Welcome to Singapore Polytechnic Tennis Courts and this is my second home in SP. I've been very passionate about tennis since primary school and when I came to SP, in year one I represented um, SP to play in the Poly ITE Tennis Tournament and we won gold in that year. Subsequently, in my third year, I was selected as the captain of the tennis school team and I led my team to win a silver medal. And I'm very thankful that SP has given me this chance to lead my team and to represent the school to bring a medal back. Find your passion and be aggressive in pursuing your dreams. Remember, no dream is too big to be accomplished. Over the past three years in SP, I've made many friends and they've helped me along the way. And I'll never ever forget them. So one word of advice is to cherish the friendship you've made and stay connected with them. Although we are graduated from SP, it will always remain a place in our hearts. I hope that we can also contribute back to SP in whatever ways we can as alumnus. Education is not just about getting good grades, it's also about molding one's character. And I believe SP has given us a holistic education that enables each and every one of us to be well-rounded individuals to take on the real world. Go where there is no path, where no one has ever ventured to and leave a trail behind. That is when you become a legend. Here, Singapore Polytechnic is proud to honour our top graduates, outstanding individuals who have achieved academic success. This year, we pay tribute to the following seven graduates who have made their mark with us. Dubbed as the engineering poster boy, Yi Cheng Kang has definitely earned this honour. Since the tender age of 11, when he participated in the National Junior Robotics Competition, 
he was destined for a future in engineering. Today, the former Chongqing High School student is an example for all to follow. Winning the Model Student Award in 2010, he is also the top student in the Diploma in Aerospace Electronics course and recipient of the Lee Kuan Yew Award. Chen Kang says his success of obtaining a perfect GPA score of 4.0 is due to an undying passion for engineering and cohesive teamwork with classmates. The highlight of his studies was a seven-week attachment with an aviation company in China, which proved to be a real eye-opener. Cheng Kang has also nurtured a love of community work and contributed to such efforts in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Cheng Kang has already been offered a place to study engineering in NTU and NUS. Justin Ross Clark is proof that a mother's love is an empowering and life-changing force. Since young, he had the privilege of being educated in schools in New Zealand and the United Kingdom. But Justin did not push himself to excel until a turning point. Appreciating the challenges his mother faced as a single parent and her sacrifices, Justin made up his mind to work hard. He not only topped the Diploma in Infocom Security Management course with a perfect GPA score of 4.0, Justin also clinched the Lee Kuan Yew Award this year. Having a desire to try new things and his limited knowledge of local food, Justin and his friends set up the Food Connoisseur Club in Singapore Polytechnic, now a popular club with more than 200 members. Today, Justin has accepted the offer to read Arts and Social Science at the NUS and hopes to join the Armed Forces or Police Force one day to give back to society. Armed with an O-level aggregate score of 5 points, Desmond Tianwei knew his options were limitless. But the former Commonwealth Secondary School student wanted only one thing, to pursue his dream of studying biomedical science in Singapore Polytechnic. In his three years at SP, Desmond developed a heart for community service. His commitment and dedication towards the Singapore Heart Foundation's health mapping exercise saw him appointed as the organizing chairman and executive committee mentor, nurturing successes for the program. Even after receiving the Model Student Award in 2009, Desmond continued to balance his studies with his passion to give back to society. Today, with a near-perfect GPA score of 3.987, he receives the Lee Kuan Yew Award. But Desmond's learning journey was not without challenges. He had to cope with the loss of his beloved grandmother. Despite his impending exams, he kept her company during her last days. Desmond has been offered a place in the Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine, NUS. Ong Clinton has come a long way from his days of manning the ice cream shop in Anglican High School. Today, the recipient of the To Chin Chai Gold Medal is setting his sights on a career in law and the food and beverage industry. So how did it all begin? Encouraged by both his siblings who were SP students, Clinton opted to study business administration at SP to further his dream of setting up shop one day. Grounding himself with a strong cause foundation, Clinton headed the School of Business Club, led a student group to Cambodia for community service, and secured an overseas internship attachment in the United Arab Emirates in the Middle East. All of these experiences at SP have made Clinton a mature, confident and broad-minded individual. With a GPA score of 3.964, Clinton has been offered a place in NTU's double degree, Accountancy and Business course. Former Victoria School student Suresh Kumar Sarat first ventured into the world of online commerce at the tender age of 12. Earning US $200 at such a young age ignited his interest in online marketing. He chose to study Business Information Technology at Singapore Polytechnic to master the art of managing academic and life pursuits. As a pioneer student in SP who travelled to the United Arab Emirates for his internship, Suresh was outstanding in his role as an IT webmaster. Building on this stint, Suresh co-founded Crete Media Private Limited, a flash game advertising company and won a $50,000 grant from Spring Singapore. Today, Crete Media counts big names such as Microsoft, FNN, Singtel, Kaplan, Andersons and others as its clients. With a GPA score of 3.993, the winner of the Lo Guan On Gold Medal is now looking to join a local university and we can definitely expect greater things to come from this young man. Hailing from a small town in Malaysia, it was Priscilla Tan's secondary school teacher from SMK Infant Jesus Convent 
Joho Baru, who planted the thought of her becoming an architect one day. With encouragement from her aunt, uncle and brother who all graduated from Singapore Polytechnic, Priscilla came to Singapore to take up the Diploma in Architecture. In SP, Priscilla took on leadership roles in the String Ensemble and Campus Crusade for Christ. She coped well with school, despite being away from family and friends back home. She valued the independence that the cause offered, giving her the chance to train as a professional. Her fondest memory was attending the 10-day Architecture Association UK-Singapore workshop, where she met fellow architecture enthusiasts from all over the world. With a GPA score of 3.946, Priscilla is the recipient of the Chua Chua Tik Gold Medal. She looks forward to pursuing a degree in architecture, with a specific interest in rebuilding houses in disaster zones. A man who literally drew his successful future is an apt description of this year's Tae Ing Soon Gold Medal winner. Armed with the ambition of being an architect or interior designer, Nick Ng Kuo Feng studied building drafting at the ITE before taking the Diploma in Landscape Architecture course in SP. Nick chose to sign on with the police force for a year before Polytechnic to save more money and alleviate the family burden. Despite being a late starter, Nick's talent was soon spotted by his current employer when he was in his second year. Nick's talent for landscape architecture also earned him the post of chairman for his graduation showcase. He graduates with a GPA score of 3.831. Through his journey to success, Nick has remained grateful for the opportunities given to him. He and his course mates did a landscape design project and donated the income earned to an old folks home. Nick is now saving up to pursue a degree in landscape architecture in New Zealand or Australia. These top graduates have done Singapore Polytechnic proud and their journeys will remind others to achieve academic greatness. We wish them the very best in their future endeavours. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony will begin shortly. If you have not switched off your mobile phones to silent mode, kindly do so now. We have arranged for photographers to take pictures of the graduates as they come on stage to receive the certificate. So please, there's no need for anyone to come forward to take photographs during the ceremony. I will be inviting everyone in this hall to please rise when the academic procession enters the, and leaves the convention hall. And lastly, to all dear graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket and identity card with you before you join the queue to receive the scroll up here on the stage. You will be issued with a card lock-in Lock on ID and password as you leave the stage. 
Please keep the card as you will be needing it to place your order for the photographs. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Our guest speak speaker, Mr. Ulrich Dorett, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the 50th graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. This year's graduation is a very special one for Singapore Polytechnic as we celebrate the 150,000 graduates SP has produced over the past 50 years. At this fifth session, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to graduates from the School of Business and the School of Digital Media and Infocom Technology. To celebrate this special occasion, we would like you to join us and take a nostalgic walk as we reminisce about our graduates who have passed through the doors of SP. We will be screening a video on our graduates with footage from session one, where our first SP student presented a memento to our 150,000th graduate. Please sit back and enjoy the video. Thank you.
invite our first SP student, Mr. Lim Chin Ek, to present a commemorative memento to our 150,000th graduate, Mr. Kenneth Chen. Thank you very much, Mr. Lim. Our guest speaker this afternoon is Mr. Ulrich Doret, Chief Operating Officer of TBWA Singapore Private Limited. TBWA ranked as a top 10 worldwide advertising agency, is part of the Omnicom Group, a leading global marketing and corporate communications company. Mr. Doret graduated from Singapore Polytechnic with a diploma in accountancy in 1995 and went on to obtain an ACCA qualification before he joined TBWA Group in 1997 and became a director in the year 2000. In 2004, he took on the role of regional controller for TBWA in the Asian region. In 2009, Mr. Dorrett was appointed to his current appointment as Chief Operating Officer for the Singapore Group. It is now my pleasure to invite Mr. Auric Dorrett to deliver the graduation address. Mr. Dorrett, please. Good afternoon. Mr. Tan Hang Chong, Principal Singapore Polytechnic, distinguished guests, parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. It feels really good to be back. It's an honor for me to be here back today again. Like, like you, 15 years ago, I sat in one of those seats thinking what my life was going to be after poly. I was keen to face the real world and wanted to get on with life. I was 24 years old then. I still feel 24 years old. Slightly older than some of you here. You see, I didn't do well in my O levels. And um, at that time, the norm was to go to a junior college and then to go on to university. I was termed a slow starter. The only option I had after the O levels was to join the National Institute of Commerce, where I studied for the next two years. Don't get me wrong, it provided me a very sound and strong foundation. After I left NIC, I, I went to the, to the army basically for the next two years. During the army, I studied my Association of Accounting Technicians diploma to um, better improve myself. But six months before I graduated, uh, before I left the army, panic um, came into me and I felt really worried that I wasn't ready for the real world, um, both academically and I felt that I, had, I hadn't had a proper tertiary school life. The plan was initially to start working after the army and to do my ACCA part-time. But after speaking to my parents and telling them my frustrations, um, I signed up for the Singapore Poly as a mature student, and I was among the, one of the first batches of DAC students to graduate. We couldn't afford uh, the education at SP. Uh, my family wasn't doing well then, and um, they pulled money together uh, term by term and got me through. During that time, I worked as a tuition teacher um, to subsidize my expenses. In my second year, uh, the kind people at um, Singapore Institute of Commerce gave me a, a bursary and um, that was helped further in, in the cost, bringing the cost down. With help from these channels and with the help and guidance from SP, I graduated. I managed to get a job uh, just before I graduated and I, I joined a company that, who, whose main business was in water filtration and uh, filter distribution in Singapore. In, in the Asia-Pacific region, actually. And my first job was an accounts executive 
in a three-man finance department. I stayed there for a while, for about a year, and then I moved on to an advertising agency named Beatty Ads. For those of you who are familiar with them, uh, they are the ones that brought the Singapore girl to, to the world, basically, for their client, Singapore Airlines. I was finance manager on the SIA account in Beatty. But I kept asking myself regularly, was this what I wanted to do? And could I see myself doing this, you know, 10, 20 years? And I knew that water filters wasn't going to be my cup of tea. And there was something about advertising that kind of made me want to do it more. The point I'm trying to make here is that if you don't already know what you want to do, um, it, you need to find out quickly what you want to do and settle down. Because the next couple of years, your job in any industry is not to make money, it's to learn. Think of yourself as an apprentice, um, as someone trying to learn more, as learning never stops. This attitude will see you go a long way. I left Beatty after another year and a half for a smaller company um, because I wanted to be in the thick of action. I didn't want to be a, just a member of staff. I wanted to have a real, a real say in, 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 in deciding the direction of the company. I joined a very small company called Tequila in 1997, not the drink company, but the advertising company, and was engaged, uh, that was engaged in more specialized advertising. It was only a 12-man agency, and I was the only one in finance. Till then, I had never written a check before, and so I had to do everything, including IT and HR. After 13 years, I'm still with Tequila, having survived two acquisitions and one merger. The company, which is now part of the Omnicom Group, um, employs more than 200 staff, and we work for some of the best brands in the world, like Adidas, Apple, Visa, Pinot Ricard, Michelin, Singapore Airlines, and Standard Chartered Bank, to name a few. In 2003, I went to Hong Kong. I moved to Hong Kong to take up the regional controller position for TBWA in Asia Pacific. I returned in 2005 when my wife was pregnant to um, head up the Singapore operations, and as earlier mentioned, I'm COO now in the Singapore group. The brief given to me today was to inspire the graduates it, it, to get them ready for the working life. It's very difficult to inspire when the, I believe that the, the success, the ingredients for success are very small and non-glamorous uh, principles that I've lived with over the years. I'm going to share some of them with you. Um, just six points. Point number one, hard work. It's not going to get easy. In everything you do, you need, you need to put your best towards it. I'm sorry to say that, as the higher you climb, it, the harder it gets. I always thought if I, when, when I become CFO, I can play golf every day and have long lunches. It's not true. Okay, I work between 12 to 16 hours a day. It is not a boast, it is not good either, but then again, I'm a slow starter. But seriously, um, what's important is to have a goal in life and, and to work hard towards it. My wife, who is my real CEO, and my two young kids put, helps put things in perspective. The second point is respect. Treat everyone with respect from the auntie that clears your coffee mugs, to the receptionist that you greet every day when you walk in through the door, to your subordinates, to your peers, and upwards to higher management. Treat everyone with the same respect, and people around you will know that you are genuine, and that you really are truthfully respectful and, and really see them as someone, as your peer, no matter what rank they are. The world today is very, very small. So remember this, a colleague or a subordinate today can one day be your boss or your client. I've seen it happen so many times. So treat everyone with respect. The third point is on humility. Never show off, there's no need to accept what has been, accept any praises that you get and is offered and reciprocate with a simple thank you. More importantly, Remember to dish out 
any praises to everyone around you. And if you don't get praise, forget about it. Life's, life's like that. As long as you know that you put in the great, a good effort. Point number four, manage upwards. Always manage upwards. This is important. Know what your boss wants or has in mind because not everybody can articulate well. I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them. I, can't, I don't know what sometimes I want to do. Um, but there are three sub-points to help on, on managing our words. One is think it through. The second point is ask questions. When you ask questions that you have thought through, uh, it basically shows that to your boss or to your subordinates that you have actually thought through the problem. And it also sh it's also a way to get clarification from whoever is giving you a task. The third sub-point is feedback. Most organizations have formal feedback sessions which are conducted yearly or more frequent. Don't wait for those formal sessions to give feedback. Offer to buy your boss coffee. Give him a brief agenda so he doesn't think that you're going to resign. Because that's what happens when people say, I'd like to talk to you. Um, this, op this also opens the door for your boss to have an informal conversation with you. And this is done at such an informal level that it creates it opens communication and builds relationship. And when you have the formal review once a year, you know you're not going to get a bad review. Also, at such meetings, it would be quite good to you know, give your ideas and, and see the problems from a different perspective. Point number five is uh, read. Knowledge of what's happening in your industry, your clients, your suppliers, the world around you, your country, new technologies, new achievements. I'm going to assume that most of you, when you graduate, would not be driving to work. So use that time in the bus, in the MRT, in the trains, to read, to gain your more knowledge. And knowledge never, never dies. The more you know, the better for you. Last but not least, um, this is very important, is giving back. Remember that not everything in life that can be counted, can be counted. Life is not about your career. It's about the people around you. Success alone cannot bring you happiness. It doesn't matter how much you earn, how many cars you have, how many houses you have. It's not important. It's also the people around you. Allow your family and friends to share your success. Give them back what you can in terms of friendship and care. Giving back also means giving back to society. It's never too early or too late to be actively involved in your community despite your busy life. You must live your ideals as you live your life. The School of Business as at SP has given you a head start. You've had the chance in the last three years to be part of the school's many activities and programs. Amongst these, I've been told uh, Operation Cambodia the, Chinese, the China Industrial Training Program, which I was part of too, 15 years ago, and collaborations with industry players, including the Capital Land Group. The last graduate employment survey showed that within three months of graduation, 86% of the 2009 graduates found a job. The average pay, or the average salary then was $1,641. This is evidence that you will be well received in the industry as you take your first tentative steps into the working world. The future as we know it in the papers and the TV seems to be a bit dim, but it's you that can make it bright. Go out and make a difference and make your alma mater proud. I wish you success in your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dorrit. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. This afternoon, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to 383 graduates from the School of Business and 163 graduates from the School of Digital Media and Infocom.
technology. May I now call upon Mr. V. Mahindran to present the diplomas. Mr. Mahindran, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Business Administration. Chen Li Shi. Dixon Lai Jia Hao. Ho Jia Yu Carey. Lim Hui Wen Lin Jia Xuan Junita Lin Qian Xiang Nai Jing Kai Aaron Perlin Tan Shi Hui Ramanan Kalichelvam Robin Quek Jin Xian Xia Chin Chai David Si Zheng Liang Te Xue Ping Wong Jin Xian Yo Shi Ping Yo Shue Ting Sophia Ada Yen Li Yi Adam Oliver Yap Ching Po Adele Ku Ai Jin Ahmad Shakya bin Muhammad Nizam Alex Cluck Andrew Go Chin Pang Ang Tai Ning Ani Ang Sing Kiet Ang Yi Ting Badria Binte Mustafa Jailani Bavani Vindan Bernice Tan Tia Hui Bu John Yu Brian Tan Chi Sin Tai Ting Yu Common Wong Yi Wen Chan Chai Ting Rebecca
Chan coming. Chang Lake Cake Gaiva. Shalin Tan Tian Hui. Chiang Lida. Chen Weiwei. Chen Wei Yu Chen Yu Ping Cheng Wei Kang Chiao Li Xian Samantha Chiu Rachel Chiu Yi Hui Shemaine Gale Chia Hui Shan Maggie Chiang Yan Ting Bianca Chin Zuki Chin Yue Sing Clarice Chong Tiaming Chu Hua Sheng Elson Chua Hong Ling Sheena Chua Jin Wei Chua Jing Lin Diana Nazura Binti Saini Elaine Pua Ling Ling Evelyn Tan Hui Ping Fazila Binti Kamis Fong Tia Wei Fong Liang Sheng Liu Gan Tian Hui Go Ming Hui Go Pan Ying Go to Rong Jeffrey. Guan Xiang Yi. Guek Sok Min. Habiba Binti Muhammad. Hanisa Binte Muhammad Yusuf Harry Ki Po Chuan Hoit Ng Tong Shing Ho Jian Lung
Ho Liang Chai. Ho Chi Chen. Ho Ren Xiang Kelvin. Ho Yame Jaslin. Huang Sheng Tiang Benjamin. Idi T. Wan Jin. Ying Ying Claudia. Ivy Ng Siu Tia. Jamalia Binti Sulaiman. Jamila Raudoti Binti Khalid. Ji Wei Tie. Julia Binti Jamil. Kao Hu Min. Ko Tie Hui. Ko Tie Yu. Ko Yi Ching Esther. Christine Xiao Mei Ting. Ki Piao Win. LB Jasmine Feroz BM. Lam Jun Yu. Li Chu Hong. Li Guan Yong Ryan. Li Gwen. Li Hong Ning. Li King Chai Ben. Li Li Ting. Li Wan Ying. Liang Lai Ting. Liang Y Wan. Liao Wan Ting. Liao Xiang Yi. Liao Yue Xiu. Lim Hong Mei. Lim Hui Wen. Lim Hui Ying Lynette. Lim Jian Long. Lim Li Xian. Lim Li Xian. 
Lim Min Lee Michelle. Lim Will Lien. Lim Yin Mei. Liu Nan Anna. Luo Jing Yu. Maimuna Binti Muhammad. Margaret Christiani. May Ko Kabi. Melissa Wee Lian. Michelle Yong Yen Ru. Muhammad Helmi bin Ramat. Muhammad Fami bin Abdullah. Muhammad Hyrul bin Muhammad Kunju. Mirin Tio Yen Li. Nasriya Binti Abdul Majid. Natalie Wu Yen Mei. Eng Dong Er Joanna. Eng Mei Hui. Eng Pei Hun. Eng Shi Wei. Eng Wan Ning Shina. Eng Yok Kwan. Eng Cheng Yi. Ngo Jun Tat. Nguyen Hong Ven. Nyo Li Bui Sharon. Noratika Binti Mathuri. Nor Sahida Binti Abdul Rahim. Nor Hidaya Binti Abdullah. Ong Swanlin Melissa. Pai Kai Wei. Pei Tin Chen. Pei Yun Li. Quack Pei Lin. Rajnita Kumari A.S. Rosmaria Binti Muhammad. Sakina Binti Sutiman.
Sasikuma Kabila. So Tia Hao Admin. Xia Pei Jin. Xia Yang Ling. Si Chai Hun. Si Yao Hui. Sing Li Yong Lai No. Xiao Kit Yi Jo Kim. Si Wo Hui Ling. Shamim Shaikh Farid. Sharo Safika Binti Muhammad Yusuf. Cheyenne Li Ching Ting. Sherilyn Lim Hui Wen. Shamin Chua Sin Ying. Xiao Shi Ting Crystal. Sim Jia Ying. Sim Xiu Hua. Siti Aisha binti Muhammad Qasim. Siti Amelia binti Suhaimi. Siti Amanina binti Muhammad. Siti Noor Aisha binti Shawal. Siti Suhaina binti Adam. Siti Sulastri binti Ahmad. Su Tahui. Stephanie Ripka. Sui Su Hui Celestin. Tan Chi King. Tan Tie Wei Zonia Raymond. Tan Ke Hua. Tan Kuang Yong. Tan Li San Candice. Tan Li Ying Jocelyn. Tan Pei Fang Patricia. Tan Shui Wei Rachel. Tan Yi Tie Felicia. Tan Ying Ru. Tan Tzu Hui.
take him take taste you one Ti Shao Wei Tio He Tia Kenneth Tio Si Hui Tio Wei Chuang John Tio Ying Xian Tio Yuan Min Tio Shu Ping Thung Li Xia Evan Here's Cindy. Titus Samuel Seth. To Hui Ti. To Jun Liang. Cho Pei Ling Cho Xue Fang Cindy Tommy Budihajo Vignesh Savagan Wang Chuo Er Wenny Bajo Wo Che Hao Kenneth Wong Shue Rin Wu Xiao Yan Yamni Devi Ravindran Yen Chui Mei Yo Hui Jing Yo Xuan Yu Bernice Yong Wei Xian Yong Wen Zhong Benjamin Yu Yao Hang Jonathan Yvonne Lim Yun Tian Chan Shun Ya Cheng Huai Cheong Ladies and Gentlemen the graduates for the Diploma in Tourism and Resort Management. Cha Yi Rong. Chan Han Lung Leno. Chiu Yu Xuan.
Daniel Ha Chin Chuan. Daryl Kok Yi Hao. Lai Kersin. Liao Jiamin. Tan Si Hua. Agnes Ko Tian Ling. Aloysius Ong Ping Xiang. Andrea Lim Li Ying. Ang Zi Ki Vivian. Brenda Sam Pei Hua. Chan Jia Hui Hazel. Chan Zheng Kai. Chi Pei Ling. Chen Tian Yi. Cheng Ta Nen. Chong Shi Ting. Cho Jia Lin Jessica. Christian Yap Siu Sin. Chua Hui Ning. Don Than Shun Yue. Delin Francis Li Mei Sien. Eddie Yanti. Edsman Chiong Ti Yi. Elaine Chen Shu Chuan. Ernie Suryani Binti Sudira. Fung Wen Sheng. Go Shu Hui Elvina. Heng Yilin Jolin. Ho Min Ti. Ho Wei Ti Fiona. Ho Shue Hui. Iris Mo Si. Jamie Lee Tiemin. John Pang Yi Yong. John Tan Ming Sheng. Justina Tok Wei Lin. Ki Jin Rong Darren. Ko 
Ku Lin Siu. Ko BT. Ko Yu Ling Ilin. Ku Hui Ying. Lam Ying Wai. Li Shu Huak Li Ting Patricia Liu Shu Yi Liang Zhi Zhong Liao Lei Sing Lim Guo Rong Daniel Lim Hui Fen Lim Hui Chuan Lim Chunjie Eugene Lim Rui Ying Lim Sok Ching Lim Yen Han Lim Yuan Hao Lim Mei Chu Debbie Lo Chuan Sheng Shane Lo Su Ru Ng Han Wei Ng Pei Lin De Lis Nor Aini Binti Abdu Jalil Nor Hafiza Binti Amir Nordilla binti Musani O Tia Chin Po Hui Mian Po Wu Fabian Poon Po Ying Amanda Priscilla Ng Sin Yi Kwek Mei Yin Sandra Ling Pei Yu Sarah Jessica Lequindenum David Shepardson Gwendolyn Jill Siti Nazura Binti Amir Tan Tai Lin Joanne
Tan Tian An. Tan Shao Wei. Tan Wei Guang. Tan Yi Wei Joy. Tan Ying Hui Joyce. Chiu Xian Li Sally. Chiu Jie Min. Chiu Yan Ching. Chiu Yu Fang Trisha. Veronica Long Li Jun. Wee Ming Ju Jordan. Wu Chiong. Yo Jin Dong. Yu Ke Sin. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the School of Business for this session. Thank you, Mr. Mahindran. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present diplomas to the graduates from the School of Dig Digital Media and Infocom Technology. May I call upon Ms. Georgina Poa, Director, School of Digital Media and Infocom Technology, to present the diplomas. Ms. Poa, please. The graduates for the Diploma in Business Information Technology Ang Su Kim Michelle Chan Lin Yue Chang Jing Ying Chit Lin Su Go Jin Wei Winston Jocelyn Wong Bao Xuan Lim Lee Hong Tahira Haja Alavudin Ahmad Muzaffa bin Abdul Rahman Chai Irene Chan Chui Man Pamela Chan Kaha Chan Millie Chan Shu Yun Chan Shun Li
Cheng Xiang Sheng. Cheng Wei Ling. Choi Wen Long. Chong Hao Yuan. Chong Li Sin. Chong Wan Ni. Choi Wen Ti Brenner. Chua Lin Ti. Chua Tik Sien. Chua Jie Yin Stephanie. Deng Sin Hao. Ilin Li Wei Fan. Eng Yong Chuan Din. Fang Chun Jie. Father Raman Marika. Fikwesa Sara Arfinda. Fong Tinbin. Fu Yong Han. Gan Zhe Hao Alex. Go Kian Hao Gerald. Go Lee Swan. Guai Tiahui Priscilla. Hafila Binti Muhammad Hapik. Ho Xiao Xian. Hu Li Wen Sharon. Hong Chiu Yun Winifred. Jia Wan Long. Joan Tian Ziying. Jue Jue, Kin San Nang. Justin Tio Che Hui. Q Li Yan. Kim Yu Bin Melody. Kim Yu Ting Amelia. Kui Shu Chuan. Ko Bao Ming Wendy. Ko Li Li. Ko 
Nicole P. Eng. Cole Wei Hong. Kong Zhong Yi Terrence. Lam Mei Jun. Lam Yilin. Li Hongxuan Li Junfu Li Ming Tai Li Shipin Li Wei Cheng Evan Li Xuan Jin Leong Kai Yuan Leong Kuok Wai Liao Ting Fang Jo Kim Li Ta Ying Pearly Liang Shao Yu Lim Hong Yi Louis Lim Tiu Ling Lim Sing Yi Lim Zi Hui Sylvia Lin Shi Xiong Lin Ying Liao Weixing Lloyd Casey Amanda Louis Jie Hui Lo Jianfeng Lo Ka Wai Lo Kun Wa Lam Kok Wen Raymond Lun Jing Lan Muhammad Erman bin Tol Karim Muhammad Nor Taufik bin Jaffa New Li Ting Niu Xiong Wei Ng Jun Jie Amos Ng Wei Ting Ng 
Ng Sin Yi. Ngo Siu Ping. Nora Shikin Binti Amran. Noshahida Binti Akasa. O Shan and Timothy. Ong Kang Hao Royston. Ong Ling Ling Iris. Ong Su Hui Joan. Pan Lu Yang. Pan Zi Jie Stephanie. Pang Rui Ti. Pearl Dora Gomez. Po Ting Ling. T Wen. Ren Jue. Xia Wei Da Desmond. Siti Rohani Binti Mustafa. So Chun Chiet. Stephanie Lim Mei Ling. Su Wenter Timothy. Tan Hui Lin Adeline. Tan Li Wun Valerie. Tan Ming Li. Tan Shi Li. Tan Xiong Kiet Inok. Tan Yik Huat Ignatius. Tae Chuan Yi. Tio Chun Hao. Tio Suan En. Tio Siang Lin Douglas. Tio Xiao Han. Tahira Bigam Binti Muhammad Rafi. Valerie Xiao Lu Ching. Wang Wan. Wang Chen Pei. Wang Cheng Yi. Wang Cheng Yi. 
Wong Junjie. Wong Kian Wei. Wong Tiao Yu. Wong Xianhua Russell. Xia Jun Yan. Yao Ming Tie Leonard. Yan Chiu Mei. Yo Chai Wei. Yo Chin Mei. Yong Ying Yan. Yulanda Ching Pei Wen. Zheng Huang. Zhou Shen Shu Yang. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the School of Digital Media and Infocom Technology for this session. Thank you, Ms. Kwa. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present the prizes. May I invite Professor Pang Yang Hong, a member of the Singapore Polytechnic Board of Governors, to present the following prizes. Professor Pang, please. From the Diploma in Business Administration course, the Freight Links Express Prize Tiffany Ao Yun Ti. The Link THM Group Prize, Chia Gyok Hien. The Boogies Street Development Prize, Lee Boon Ki. The Federated Cargo Line Prize, Jolie Li Jia Ling. The PowerNet International Prize, Li Pei Chen. The United Overseas Bank Prize, Lo Wei Jie. The TNT Express Worldwide Prize, Mohammed Farhan bin Mohammed Ferdows. The Executive Home Store Prize, Pearl Lim Fan Yi. The Four Star Industries Prize, Ryan Lim Sing Ling. The Real-Time Business Consulting Prize, Xia Lei King. The Keppel Energy Prize, Jailet Tan Ching Yong.
द रस्टिक नवाना स्पा प्राइज चोय थान येन जीन From the Diploma in Tourism and Resort Management course, the Tricom Events Prize, He Ai Chen. From the Diploma in Business Information Technology course, the Greenhouse Language Centre Prize, Leonard Lim Jin Xue. The Center of the International Cooperation for Computerization Award, Lim Jiu Yu. The NetBiz Office Supplies Prize, Cynthia Sua Xueni. The Citra to Bindo Award, Tan Hong Boon. The Accenture Technology Solutions Prize, Tan Yong Ming. The Laser Fair Prize, Anne Tan Yu Fen. The Certis Cisco Award, Yo Si Xian. That concludes the presentation of prizes. Thank you, Professor Pang. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present medals to our top graduates for excelling in their courses of study. May I invite Mr. Auric Dorette, Chief Operating Officer of TBWA Singapore Private Limited, to present the medals. Mr. Dorette, please. From the Diploma in Business Administration course, the Marketing Institute of Singapore Silver Medal is awarded to Debbie Lim Shu Wen. The following graduate was awarded the To Chin Chai Gold Medal at the first session of the graduation ceremony. Today, the Jurong Shipyard Gold Medal the Shell Companies in Singapore Prize, the MVO Marketing Prize, and the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry Prize are also awarded to Ong Clinton. From the Diploma in Tourism and Resort Management course, the Jurong Bird Park Silver Medal and the Gyamso International Tours Prize are awarded to Lu Kuan Huai. <laughs> the, the Singapore Tourism Board Gold Medal and the RC Hotels Prize are awarded to Margaret Tan Tian Ting. From the Diploma in Business Information Technology course, the Singapore Computer Society Silver Medal and the Sciences Business Solutions Award are awarded to Clement Ku Chuan En. The following graduate 
was awarded the Lo Guan On Gold Medal at the first session of the graduation ceremony. Today, the IDA Gold Medal, the Shell Companies in Singapore Prize, the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry Prize, and the Tiger Airways Prize are also awarded to Suresh Kumar Sarat. That concludes the presentation of top medals. Thank you, Mr. Doret. Ladies and gentlemen, giving the valedictory speech this afternoon is Mr. Ramanan, son of Kali Chalvam, a graduate of the Diploma Course in Business Administration. May I now call upon Ramanan to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Ramanan, please. A very good afternoon to our guest speaker, Mr. Eric Dorat members of the Board of Governors, Professor Pang Yang Hung and Mr. Liu Chun Bun, Principal, Mr. Tan Han Chong, ladies and gentlemen. Have no fear. I'm well aware that on a day of such high excitement, what you require, first and foremost, of any speaker is brevity. I shall not fail you in this respect. There are exactly 32 sentences in my speech five of which you have just heard. <laughs> it will take me about three minutes to deliver all of them, and I must tell you that such economy was not easy to accomplish. Sir Isaac Newton once said that the only reason he could see further than the others was because he had stood on the shoulders of giants. On no other day than today do these words ring more true. Fellow graduates, the only reason we have the potential to be great is because we have stood on each other's shoulders. We have helped each other work through problems, meet deadlines, and study for chess. We have helped each other get through life these past few years. These powerful relationships should not be weakened or severed, but should become stronger than they ever were. We are all connected through our actions and experiences, and it is these experiences that bind us in some way to every individual around us. And I challenge you to cherish and use these experiences to comfort you in the years ahead. My three years in SP have been more than just textbooks and notes. SP has given me numerous opportunities to contribute to the communities both locally and globally. One such example is my involvement in Students in Free Enterprise, or SAIF. Not only did my team impact the lives of the villagers in Batam, but we were also the national champions beating various universities and polytechnics. We then went on to represent Singapore in the Saif World Cup in Berlin. That was certainly one of the most memorable experiences in my time in SP. At this moment, allow me to take the opportunity to acknowledge two groups of people who have made a significant impact in our lives, especially over the past three years. Firstly, our lecturers. Here at SP, we are privileged to receive quality education from caring lecturers, and whether you intend to pursue further studies, you will benefit from what you have learned here. All of us are grateful for the dedication of our lecturers. Dear lecturers, a very big thank you for the extra hours you had to put in for the extra hours you had to put in to make sure lessons were interesting for us, your patience in making us understand the various concepts and the personal help that you gave each and every one of us. We must also be thankful for our families. These past three years has presented us with a lot of ups and downs. And it's good to know we had our families in our corner supporting us along the way. 
Often on graduation day, we look outside for heroes. But I see them right here among us. Let's put our hands together to thank our lecturers and parents. I've learned that in my three years in SP, that we don't have to look far for inspiration, and that we each have the potential to make an inspiring contribution to others by staying true to our values and committing ourselves to our goals. As you leave here today, celebrate what you've accomplished, but look forward with an eye toward how you too can be the inspiration for others. Congratulations, graduates of 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we also put our hands together and wish all these young people all the best? Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to please stand. The procession groups will now leave the convention hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for a tea reception at the plaza just outside the convention center. May I invite all parents and guests to leave the convention center first. Thank you very much and have a good day. Thank you.